what did you feel like was was the difference overall tonight? Um, we just little mistakes here and there. We just didn't execute on a few things. So it's our fault. Where do you guys go from here? Uh, up. I guess. I mean, it's the only place you can't go after a loss of love. I mean, you got to get back in the ladder and start working again. When you have so much on the line with the Big Four title, and now that's not a you know in play anymore. I guess what keeps you motivated to push it? Oh, uh, we still got more games. Like we got another game, and I'm not sure about the incarnate word and whatnot, but. I'm focused on the next game. I, mean, I can't be focused on two, three games ahead that might not happen. So, focused on Kansas State. You were obviously able to come up with some big catches, but did it feel like Texas's pressure and the way they were able to create it do anything for the receivers on the back end and the way they covered you guys? Uh, they, they had good coverage, but we were getting open. It was just time. Just Brock didn't have enough time. Kyle didn't have enough time. Did, did, did the young guys, did the atmosphere, Affect anybody tonight? You think or no? Nah, not at all. I don't, I don't think that was going to bother anybody. It's, it's a regular stadium. It's just a lot more people, of course. But yeah. I don't think that was going to bother anybody. How, were you guys uh, aware that Oklahoma State had beat West Virginia and that you controlled your destiny? Was that talked at all about? I feel like no matter what happened, we controlled our destiny. Win, lose, or draw, we controlled our destiny. And, I mean, we fumbled it, so on to the next. David, how hard was it to sit there and watch the first half? Oh, it was tough, but um, I know what I, I kind of team I had, so I wasn't worried any. How much What was kind of the same? Are you watching the game by yourself in the locker room? Yeah, me and Coach Emma were watching it together. Um, I was stretching, just uh, cheering my boys on. What do you see from Kane and, and Johnny kind of in your place there in the first half and what they were able to do at times? Uh, I see what I knew already. Those guys are capable of doing. Um, it's amazing to see what will happen in the future. Uh, those guys are amazing running backs. And some crazy things with the ball. They just uh, they, they'll get more opportunities to show. show how, they how, how do you? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that? Um, how do you feel right now? I mean, do you feel like you have like another half of football in you, or what's it feel like to? Because it's kind of odd circumstances to come in at the half. Yeah, it's definitely odd. Uh, the preparation is different. They, um, yeah. It felt different, but uh, at the end of the day, I knew I was going to have to go out there regardless to you know, try to carry my team, or, I mean, try to help my team to a victory. So, um, it feels short, but my team did everything out of my mind, so that's all I really care about right now. What was it like uh, watching them fall behind while there was nothing you could do about it? Uh, it wasn't in the system falling behind, just since things weren't clicking at the moment. Um, I always have faith in my guys, regardless of the circumstances and the situation. Um, yeah, I was always confident whether I didn't play the whole game. I, the, the guys just still go out there and play as hard as they can. So um, regardless of me coming in or even being here, it doesn't matter. Coach Coach Campbell said the Baylor experience was a learning experience for you. What you learn from that? Yeah, definitely learn. Um, at the moment when I did, I didn't learn as much as I learned now. Um, I learned so much as being out uh, the first half, not being able to stand on the sideline with my guys. I probably hurt the most knowing that I can't, you know, to get those guys tips and reminders and ease their game of what they see and what they think we can do better. Uh, that, that sucks to see, but um, definitely a lesson learned. Uh, Out there tonight? Not a whole lot. Uh, we felt different. Um, I feel like all of us kind of kept our poise for the most part. Uh, obviously, it was a, a pretty big atmosphere, but I don't think that really played an effect on us. They had the end of the Oklahoma State West Virginia game on a bed during warm-ups and talked about the score. Did you know going into kickoff that, okay, we went out, we're in the Big 12 title game? Um, I think I think some people knew, but it was never talked about. It's never been talked about. You know, we take it one one day at a time, one game at a time. So, you know, we control what we can control. What were the big – Coach Clemson, maybe still some detailed stuff on defenses where you missed tackles or things like that. Where is the biggest area for cleanup going into next week? Uh, yeah, I don't have to say missed tackles. Uh, we had a lot. I feel like everybody gives great effort. You know, that's it's never an issue with us. Um, you know, I feel like some people were out of gaps. You know, some people weren't communicating the call and stuff. And then yeah, we had a lot of missed tackles tonight, which obviously has to be corrected. What the fundamentals of a, a missed tackle almost sounds like a, almost a silly question, but what, what goes into a night where 
there are missed tackles? What, what is not being done that needs to be done? Uh, I think it really <laughs> is just kind of, like for me, a lot of it's like not wrapping up or, you know, wanting to make the big hit kind of thing. And, you know, not just really focusing in on the details and execution to make a proper tackle. Um, I think a lot of people could have, you know, it's, it's hard to tell, honestly, until we go back and watch film, you know, 